What's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you've all had a great start to your work week, a great Monday. Um, well, chances are you clicked on this video because you want to know about winter weather at your location. Well, uh, chances are definitely increasing for a lot of the southeast. I'm talking all the Carolinas, uh, portions of Georgia, and just the south in general, and then areas of the mid-Atlantic. So that's what we're going to break down in this video. What you're going to see is we're going to run through all the model runs. We're going to show you what you really want to see in the beginning of this video. We're going to talk about snowfall accumulations, what the models are showing, break down what the pieces of energy is doing in this pattern, uh, and, and talking about the ensembles also, and really break this down and talk about what all the models have really shown over the last 24 hours. Because from the video I made last night, honestly, all things have done is actually, you know, increase the possibility of something happening this weekend. This is this is going to be a weekend system, really the latter part of the weekend, more Saturday into Sunday. And uh, so there's a lot to discuss. So definitely hit the subscribe button for me. Like the video if you like it. I'm just a guy who's very passionate about weather, who has been blessed um, with an audience to talk about what I love, which is you guys. So much love to everybody. I really appreciate every single person in here. If you guys got anything I can pray about, please put it in the comments. There's a lot of sickness going on, so all thoughts and prayers go out to everybody affected. Uh, my little girl is definitely feeling a lot better today, so thank you all for all the prayers. It's much appreciated. But like I said, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on like like my Facebook page. Uh, hit me up on Instagram and TikTok, especially my Twitter. I, I'm, I mean, I, I try to stay I try to stay very frequently updated on my Twitter. It's a great way to follow along. Obviously, I can't make a video every 15 minutes or something, so definitely follow me on Twitter if you're a Twitter person. A lot of people aren't or like my Facebook page. Trying to grow my Facebook page a big time. But thank you all for the amazing support. Let's get going because there's a lot to discuss. So we're going to start off pretty hot here, and we're going to talk about the GFS, the latest GFS. And even the run at lunchtime uh, showed a winter storm. So let's get going here. We're starting off for tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow morning. Bitterly cold air in the northeast, coldest air of the season by far, by a long shot. A very cold day even into the southeast as high pressure will be over the northeast. Uh, northeast winds will be funneling into the uh, into the Carolinas and Georgia. Very cold day. This moves through. We watch a little piece of energy right here that tries to develop a low pressure. I'm still watching the storm for you folks in the northeast that develops, moves on through. It's even snow, showing snow in areas of Cape Cod and not quite to Boston, but still watching this powerful nor'eastern that we've been talking about a little bit throughout the last few videos. Watch that storm still. really is. In fact, this storm has a factor on this piece of energy. I want to mention everything you're about to see. Please do not look at it and say, oh, that's definitely going to happen. Do not look at any of this stuff. This is, if, especially if you live in South Carolina, Georgia, you know these models change often. It'll be calling for snow uh, day five, day four, day three, day two is still calling for snow. And then 24 hours before it's about to start snowing, uh, it trends away. And then all of a sudden we get a miserable cold rain. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. I see it all too often. But here we go. Uh, this piece of energy, what I want to mention about this is this is going to be northern stream dominant, meaning most of the energy from this system is coming from the north. Normally you have a low pressure riding up from the Gulf and it normally links up or phases with some kind of energy in the north and then it phases to a big time system and then we have a winter storm with cold air up top. This is northern stream dominated. I mean this low pressure dips down from the jet stream very quickly, far, very quickly, very far south. The more this digs, the more cold air gets pulled in and the quicker this really closes off, becomes negatively tilted, kind of like the storm a week ago, um, the quicker and, and the more powerful and the more higher the chances of winter weather here. So here we go. We got we're getting into the overnight hours of Saturday into Sunday. This Saturday and Sunday, not not 14 days out. Saturday and Sunday, and look at this pink showing up here. You got sleet, maybe a little freezing rain showing up in areas of South Carolina. Snow in the upstate of North of South Carolina. Triad, Triangle, snow, Piedmont, North Carolina breaking out. Even getting close to Atlanta, band of snow. Here you've got the 540 line uh, dipping down, so you got a good bit of cold air aloft. You get to the next frame. This is waking up Sunday morning, and you have an all-out snowstorm in North Carolina. And then you have a low pressure that's began to develop. It, it comes in from the north. It gets off the coast, and it really starts to deepen and strengthen. And then you have an all-out winter storm for areas of the Carolinas. And look, even Columbia, South Carolina, Greenville, Rock Hill, Charlotte, Raleigh, Hickory, 
uh, Atlanta, you're getting backside snow. It is snowing, and this is a pretty big time band of snow right in here, depicted by the latest GFS. This moves through, low pressure begin, continues to deepen as heavy snow fall, uh, falls in areas like Raleigh, North Carolina overnight. You still got, I, I would be willing to bet this green you're seeing in South Carolina is still snow. In fact, I know it would be. Um, and this moves through, low pressure begins to deepen. And what that means is heavier precipitation gets thrown into the Carolinas. And with cold, just enough cold air at the surface, you have it falling in the form of snow. This continues to move off and you have an all out snowstorm. You look at a much closer view of this and we're getting in. Here comes our low pressure dropping in. I feel like this system right here kind of sets the tone of this. It brings in some cold air. Uh, it's already snowing in portions of the mountains as we're starting off our Friday. And then here comes our low pressure diving in from such an odd direction. These storms normally get the low pressure popping into the Gulf and then riding here and throwing moisture in here with the cold air coming on top. This is screaming in from the northwest comes in, starts to pivot and becomes more and moves a little bit more zonal, gets off the coast, fully develops, matures, and then look at the, look at a close-up view of the snow for areas of South Carolina, North Carolina, like I just shown, moves on off. Now we'll look at the run prior. Let's back it up to the 12Z run. It shows almost the exact same thing, but the run actually that just came out is a, even better. So we're turning to a better storm here, a more amplified storm, more moisture. How much cold air can you get wrapped into this? Not sure. But let's get going to the Euro. Well, actually, let's go on and show the crazy snowfall totals courtesy of the GFS here. And let's go on and just get a closer up view. First off, we'll, we'll look at this. I want to tell you this storm for even areas of Chicago, watch out. Even though this will be a clipper kind of origin storm. This could be a powerful clipper that brings in some cold air and then several inches of snow can fall in these areas. I know most people click on this video to hear about the Carolinas and the Southeast threat, but I do want to mention you guys up here too. But look at this as this low pressure, deep, low pressure deepens, cold air funnels in, and look at the snowfall total showing in the Carolinas. Let's get a closer up view of this as we get into this weekend. I tell you what, I'm really pulling for this to happen. It'd be perfect time and it's over the weekend. You know, most people won't be working, but look at this. This is 10 to one ratio. Look at all this snow showing up in North Carolina and look how close it is to areas in the Midlands. Areas of the Northern Midlands are getting uh, over a half a foot of snow. Charlotte getting 10 inches of snow. Uh, Columbia getting anywhere, depending on what portion of, of the town you are from one to three to four inches of snow. Raleigh getting over a foot of snow. Uh, big, big looking event. Now, this is the part of the video that you're looking at that you're going to start, you know, texting all your people, hitting up your family members saying, oh, Mitch uh, said it's going to snow and we, we could get six inches of snow um, come Sunday. When you look at this, know that it is going to change literally about 20 more times before the storm comes in. It's going to change so often. And especially us in South Carolina, you got to realize, even in North Carolina, Charlotte, you, you know, you've been a victim of it the last few years. You got to realize that. These change, these model runs change so much. But I tell you what, this is such an odd looking system and there is some concrete evidence. And I will tell you, every single model shows this. We'll look at the European now and uh, we'll get a little bit closer here in a second. We look at the European. First system swings through. There will be some energy with this. It'll be like a clipper type system, but the cold air really won't be entrenched yet. Look at this. Look at this big time piece of northern stream energy. It swings in here. Low pressure drops in here, showing a low pressure right here. And this shows an all-out uh, moderate winter storm for North Carolina, um, Virginia, mainly North Carolina, though. And then the low pressure really gets off the coast over here. And then it's showing, uh, you know, some sleet, a wintery mix, even in the South Carolina. But you back it up to this time frame, and we'll get a little bit closer here. And look at this. This is uh, verifying for uh, overnight Saturday and a Sunday. Look at all the blue in North Carolina, the pink, the wintery mix here. And then we get to the next time frame where more cold air gets in. And look at the blue getting very close to, south, to the Midlands of South Carolina. And even in the PD of South Carolina, you're getting a wintery mix as you're waking up Sunday morning. A lot can change with this. It really is. I, I can tell you. Uh, the European is, is not you know as impressive as the GFS, but the GFS has been doing very well. It did very well in hurricane season, it, and it's it's already kind of doing well in a winter season. But here's the snowfall totals, totals courtesy of the European. Definitely not as aggressive. It's going to be very, very interesting what happens with the OOZ runs tonight. Uh, makes me want to just watch the national championship and just stay up all night and watch them, but obviously I have a full-time job. I can't do things like that, but... 
Uh, shows a nice, nice little event um, for Virginia and North Carolina, but definitely nothing too crazy. But you notice a little area right here that starts to get that one to two inch rain. You look at the graph right here. Um, that tells me that low pressure is beginning to strengthen, cold air is falling in, and then I'm, all I'm going to say is really watch eastern North Carolina with this system. I'm not saying it can't snow in South Carolina, but eastern North Carolina I really think is an area, Raleigh, to watch because this low pressure can get off the coast here and really explode in Iowa and um, and really throw several inches of snow into North Carolina. You know, I'm definitely not going to doubt it. Uh, this is called the UK Met model. This is a respectable model. It only goes out all, all the way out until about Sunday morning, but it already shows snowfall accumulation in areas like Raleigh and North Carolina. Nothing really showing up for South Carolina. But, guys, it's Monday. This system is five to six days away. There's so many things that can happen here. Um, I wish we can go on a cash in the GFS run right now. For, you know That would make everybody in the Carolinas happy. But let's look at the energy. So this is very important to look at. Here we go. And then we get into, here comes our system. This is a vigorous piece of energy for our northern stream. This dives in. And look at this. It's already closed off. And uh, and then it, it, I mean, this, this piece of energy just moves right over Georgia and the South Carolina. And it really goes negatively tilted right here. And uh, when this, when these storms, when they go from a more of a positive tilt, which what it is right now, which is a weaker system, it's kind of like severe weather. When you have a positively, t positively tilted trough, you normally have a weaker system. But this goes negative right here, right here, um, right off the coast of South Carolina, North Carolina. Therefore, I mean, you have a pretty substantial storm in general, especially when this thing tilts negative. And if you're wondering what I mean by negative, notice it's kind of tilted kind of that way. And then when you get to right here, it's tilted more straight down. That's a neutral tilt. And then it kind of bows out like this. That's a negative tilt. That's, that's weather terminology. Um, but this turns into a big, powerful storm per the GFS. Um, and with cold air around, you have, an, you have a chance right into here for a powerful for a lot of snow if something like this was to come to friction as you look at this that's what happens um, so you keep moving here I want to mention this is the temperatures while some of the heaviest snow is falling you have heavy snow falling in the 20s snowfall ratios will be incredible but look even at Columbia it's 33 it's, it's flirting with freezing but areas just north of Columbia well above freezing I'm telling you we got to watch this storm really do um, and, and you know, you, you, you can see what's going on here right here. This is a northern stream dominant piece of energy. Dips down with the trough. And uh, it's its own separate thing. Uh, the storm that happened a week ago that produced all that wind for, you know, the eastern U.S., this is kind of what it looked like. It got cut off in the mainstream, became its own deal, and uh, cold air moved in. So this is the ensemble mean for the GEFS. I'm not going to show a bunch of cities tonight. I'll do that again tomorrow night. Honestly, it's just because I forgot to pull, off, pull up all the panels. But uh, this is an impressive mean. Look at it dipping down the Georgia and the South Carolina with a several inch mean, even in the upstate of South Carolina. But the whole entire state of North Carolina, Virginia looks very impressive. You look at the European, not near as impressive, but you have a half inch mean all the way down into the Midlands of South Carolina. Watch this overnight. Let's see if it's trend south. We're hoping for a trend south, but that's all I got, guys. There's no point in making a 25-minute video tonight. It's pretty cut and dry information, um, but this could be a big one um, for someone in the mid-Atlantic or maybe upper areas of the southeast, and who knows, hopefully for us in South Carolina. I'm saying us because I know I got a lot of people who watch from South Carolina. I'm from South Carolina, from the Midlands of South Carolina, and uh, we're in a big-time snow drought. In fact, areas of central South Carolina have not seen a substantial winter storm or accumulating snow over an inch since what the Weather Channel deemed winter storm packs in February of 2014. So it's almost been eight years. So we're, we're, we're definitely looking at the chops here and wanting something. So um, that's all I got. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless all y'all and uh, stay safe out there.